All right. Two step equations. Two step equations. The magical two step equation. You must master the two step equation. It has two steps. Most of these guys are going to work the same way. Remember, it's it's a balance beam. We're just going to try to keep it in balance. The main thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing like a pick and a drop usually, and then either adding or excuse me, either dividing or multiplying. So two steps: pick and drop the air bubbles. Air bubbles. Pick and drop the air bubble. Now, after you've done a pick and drop, you're ready to do now either multiply or divide both sides. There you go, two-step equation. Remember, these are scales. These are balanced scales or teeter-totters. If I take 10 pounds off of this side, I have to take 10 pounds off of that side. So if I pick this guy up and drop him on the other side, I'm taking 10 pounds off of this side and I'm taking 10 pounds off of that side. I now have 3C equals 6. Who is the variable? C is the variable. Who's bugging it? 3 is bugging it. What is 3 doing? 3 is multiplying. How do I fight multiplication? Division. What would I like to do? I would like to divide both sides by 3. C equals 2. Does this work? Let's see. Two, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 10 is 16. It does work. Pick and drop, multiply, divide. Let's pick up this air bubble. Drop it on the other side. Remember, it hits its head and becomes the opposite. I have P over 3 equals 16 minus 14 is 2. Some number divided by 3 is 2. I already know the answer is 6. Because 6 divided by 3 is... Somebody's looking in my window. You want to come in? Give me a second. Come on, you gotta be a guest star. I'm making a video. I don't, I don't stop them. Okay, we're still going. I'm not. Remember, one and done. Here, be on camera. Yeah. Say hi. Yes, see, we're both here on a holiday working. Let me just finish these two problems, okay? So, right, the answer is six. Six divided by three is two. But let's go through the math. Who is my variable? P. Who's bugging the P? The three. What's the three doing? It's trying to divide. How do I fight division? With multiplication. What's my sentence? I would like to multiply both sides by three. And there's the six that we expected. Okay, here's a weird one. I have 6 equals Q minus 38 over 10. It's a little bit weird because I'm not going to do a pick and drop to start with. I'm actually going to multiply to start. This 10 is bugging me. What's he doing? He's trying to divide. How do I fight division? Multiplication. Let's multiply. I'm going to have 60 equals Q minus 38. Now it's ready for a pick and drop. Who do you want to pick up? The negative 38. Drop it on the other side. Bonks its head. The negative 38 bonks its head and becomes what? A positive 38. That gives me a 98. And I'm checking it. Yes. And our final one. This one's pretty straightforward. Who do you want to pick up? Let's pick up the 60. Where do you want to drop it? On the other stack of air bubbles. Right? 60, I drop it, what happens? 60 hits its head and becomes a negative 60. 951 minus 60 takes us to 8. Ah, really? 8, 8, 9, because you're here, I'm 
890 something, 889 plus 60. Did that work? I gotta do the math. 951 minus 60. You're killing me, Smalls. I don't need to do that. I don't have to borrow. Now I'm all, look at me. I'm a mess. Nine, it's because she's standing right here. She's not even looking at me, but I'm totally like losing it right now. Oh my goodness. I know what it feels like when I call you up to the board, people. I call you up and you're like, oh, I know how to do this, but you're watching me. Yes, I know. Okay, 951 minus 60. One minus zero is zero. Carry the one. That takes me to, that takes me to a nine. That takes me to an 890. I, I'm still really. One minus zero. Is, is one. one. 891. 891? Is that my, oh my goodness. And I'm not even done yet. 891 equals 27F. I'm going to calculator. I'm going to divide that by 27. Dividing both sides by 27. 891, 891 divided by 27. Please be nice. 33. That's it. Is that my last? No, I still have to make one more video today. Great. Thank you, people. Okay, I'll see you in class.